Welcome to This Week in Sweden, where I bring up the biggest news that happened in the past week here in Sweden. Oi! My name is not Sven, it is Martin. Yeah. Christian Ulf A. Gidlund passed away on September 17, just four days prior to his 30th birthday. In the late 90s, he started a rock band called Sugar Plum Fairy, and uh, they went on for another 10 years. They took a break, and he went on to do uh, journalist studies in Stockholm. But in 2011, he was diagnosed with stomach cancer, and upon that diagnosis, he started a blog called Ikopenmin, In My Body, or Inside My Body. Now, he's obviously not the only one who's ever had this, but he had the ability to put his thoughts into words. And I think that's what really drew people in. And at the beginning of this year, 2013, he released a book. I kroppen min, resa mot livet slut och alltings början. Inside my body, the travel towards the end of life and the beginning of everything which to a great extent was built upon the blog post he had written. And in June in this year he participated in the radio show called Sommai Pei at Summer in P1. P1 is a radio station, uh, state radio here in Sweden. And this show has been running since 1959 where throughout the summer months prominent people like politicians and singers and writers and directors or people that are, you know, have very, a lot of skills within certain areas, they get you know, to host a show which has been pre-recorded where they talk about their life and their experiences as most of these get a lot of attention uh, when uh, famous people reveal things that they you know that the general public didn't know about people coming out or you know people having uh, this uh, horrible experience back then and then um, so it's a it's one of the most popular radio shows uh, in the country and he took part in that in June he was often invited to talk shows because he was very open about you know about death and the sickness and his anxiety. So his texts and what he's written both on his blog and his book will live on. His music will live on. I recommend that you go and listen to my friend Anton who makes uh, the music uh, of late um, during my 10 Swedish words. He made a cover of one of uh, Christian's songs. So you should definitely go watch that. And as a final note, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for liking. And if you're a Swede, you know, let me know what your experience has been with Christian. You know, did you find out about him very recently now, you know, because of what happened last week? Or have you been following his blog since, you know, since day one? Or, you know, how do you know about it? What, what do you feel about it? And if you're not from Sweden, have you heard about anyone going through a terminal illness uh, publicly through vlogs or written posts or anything like that? I, I'd love to hear because it, it somehow makes things real because you realize that it could be me, it could be someone I love, it could be anyone. It brings out tears for those of you who knew him and also for us reading about it but at the same time it brings a value because tears is a good thing because it meant that we cared. Oh sweet, sweet Jackie, sweet.